Welcome to St. Matthew's New Life Worship Experience. My name is Rudy Smith, and I am very grateful that you have decided to devote your time to come and worship with us. Remember, Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8, once read, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. Thank you once again for tuning in. Enjoy the service. Singing with some brand new day. Sun is shining, put a smile upon your face. Yes, the day is over and it's gone. Stop your weeping, cause the morning light has come. Check your Good morning, church family. God is good all the time. So we thank him every day. Every day we thank him for all his blessings. We come this morning to exalt him and worship the Holy Spirit. Worship him this morning in songs, in praises. Just continue to worship him in these difficult times. Oh, Lord, it's just so good to be able to thank him for another day. Thank him for another chance to say thank you in these difficult times. Praise him. Praise him every day. And thank him for our food that he has given us. Our clothes on our back. The unconditional love that he has given us. Thank him, hallelujah, for all his praises. Thank him, Lord Jesus, for his protection. Thank him. God bless you, family. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good morning, church. Let us pray. Lord, today we recall your faithfulness. We thank you that you will walk with us every day and that you are with us each moment. We thank you that your promises are true and your goodness never fails us. In this moment, we come to you and we lay our lives before you. And may we worship and adore you with every fiber of our being. May everything within us cry, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was with us and who is to come. And so today, Lord, we join with all those who worship and confess you as Lord from generations past and present, and with all the angels that sing in heaven of your greatness and your beauty. Lord, we adore you, we love you, and we are so precious to know that we are in your presence at all times. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Please join us for the call to celebration. This day is God's gift to us, a gift of community and Sabbath. A gift of doing nothing more than offering thanks and basking in his presence. This is our gift to God, a gift of song and prayer, a gift of offering our lives to service to our master. Surrounded by all these gifts, let us worship our God. We are the children of God, called to praise, bless, and show mercy. We are members of a community, called to know each other, to accept each other, and to welcome all. We belong to God, and through God, to one another. So may, so our, may hearts our hearts be as, be as one, one as, as we, we worship, worship our, our God. God.
sun is shining Went to sleep last night Your pulse now, pulse now, you can feel the beat. And look at my Jesus, that he kept you on your feet. Where your are I bet you found them small. You others, you have no beef at all. Good morning, church. Today I'll be reading Matthew 15, verses 10 through 28. Then he called the crowd to him and said to them, Listen and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but is what comes out of the mouth that defiles. Then the disciples approached and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees took offense to what they heard you say it? He answered, every plant that my heavenly father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. And if one blind person guides another, both will fall into a pit. But Peter said to him, explain this parable to us. Then he said, are you also still without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth enters the stomach and goes out into the sewer? But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this is what defiles? For out of the heart comes evil intentions, murder, adultery, fornication, theft, false witness, and slander. There are they, these are what defile a person, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile. Jesus left that place and went away to the district of Tyre and Sidon. Just then, a Canaanite woman from the region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not answer her at all. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And your daughter was healed, and her daughter was healed instantly. 
the word of God for the people of God. It is now offering time. Let us prepare our hearts and our minds to give back to God what God has given to us. So as we render our gifts and prepare to render our gifts this day, you may give by texting the word G-I-V-E to 443-241-9085. Text the word using your cell phone, G-I-V-E, that is give, to 443-241-9085. List the dollar amount and the system will guide you through the rest of the way. If you would like to mail your offering, you may mail your offering to St. Matthew's New Life United Methodist Church at 416 East 23rd Street, Baltimore, Maryland, 21218. 416 East 23rd Street, Baltimore, Maryland, 21218. Also, you may use PayPal. You may find our name on PayPal, St. Matthew's New Life, and you may give by using PayPal, or you may visit our website, smnl.org, smnl.org, and use the giving portal there. Let us prepare our hearts and minds and celebrate God through giving. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Though we are not physically present with one another, beloved, I am glad to be with you this day. And know this day that the ground, the place that you are standing or seated right now is holy ground. I want to thank my brother in Christ, the Reverend Tony Love, for preaching last week. I want to thank him for that timely word from promise to provision. For today's sermon, for today's scripture, reason, re, scripture reading in this sermon series, Seeds of Hope, our scripture comes from the book of 1 Kings, 1 Kings chapter 20, verses 22 through 28, and it reads, Then the prophet approached the king of Israel and said to him, Come, Strengthen yourself and consider well what you have to do, for in the spring the king of Aram will come up against you. The servants of the king of Aram said to him, Their gods are gods of the hills, and so they were stronger than we. But let us fight against them in the plain, and surely we shall be stronger than they. Also, do this. Remove the kings, each from his post and put commanders in place of them and muster an army like the army that you have lost, horse for horse and chariot for chariot. Then we will fight against them in the plain and surely we shall be stronger than they. He heeded their voice and did so. In the spring, Ben-Hadad mustered the Armenians and went up to Ab Abhika to fight against Israel. After the Israelites had been mustered and provisioned, they went out to engage them. The people of Israel encamped opposite them like two little flocks of goats, while the Armenians filled the country. A man of God approached and said to the king of Israel, Thus says the Lord, because the Armenians have said, the Lord is a God of the hills, but he is not a God of the valleys. Therefore, I will give all this great multitude into your hand, and you shall know that I am the Lord. This is the word of God for the people of God, and we all say thanks be to God. Let us pray. God, you are good, you are kind, you are loving, you are all-knowing. Lord, right now, we need you to speak. To speak, oh God, as we are all journeying through different places, different phases, different situations in life. And so, God, may the words of my mouth and meditations of my heart be acceptable, Lord, in your sight. You are my rock and my redeemer. And let all the people of God say amen, amen. And amen. 
For a sermon title, beloved, I offer you victory in the valley. Victory in the valley. In the book of 1 Kings, we see the Israelite army being attacked by their enemies in a valley. They've been lured by their enemies to a valley. They've been lured by the Armenians, the Israelite army has, to a valley. Because the Armenian army believes that if they can attack the Israelites in the valley, in the plain, they will be victorious over them. You must understand that this is not the first time that the Armenians have attacked the Israelites. The last time they attacked them, they attacked them on the mountain. And on that mountain, when they attacked them, God had given the Israelites victory there. And the Armenians learned from their defeat. They learned from their defeat that the God of Israel was a God of the mountain. But yet they thought to themselves that the God of Israel doesn't reside in the valley. And so I know for many of us it was hard last week to receive a word of from promise to provision because we're walking and going through valleys. It seems as if every time we are up, something brings us down to a valley. It seems as if when life is going good, something comes our way and knocks us off track and we find ourselves in valleys. It seems as if when all things are beginning to work out for our good, we're being attacked by our enemies and lured and dragged to the valleys by our enemies. This is one reason why David said in Psalm 23, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Because God is with us even in the valleys. That was the shortcoming of the Armenians. They thought that the God of Israel only resided on the mountains. And that's how it is with us. Our enemies believe that our God is only one dimensional, that our God can only do one thing, that our God is only huh, able to do certain things, but they don't know that our God is able to do all things, that our God has all power in his hands, that our God knows all things, that our God is above all things, that our God is in all things. And when our God is walking with us, if we're walking on a mountain or if we're walking in a valley, our God, the all-powerful God, the almighty God is with us. This day, somebody needs to know that you might be going through a valley. You might be going through some tough time and some hard times. And yes, your enemies are attacking you, but learn from your last battle. Your enemies are not dumb. Your enemies are intelligent. Your enemies are smart. See, our enemies learn from their mistakes. They learn from their shortcomings. And that's why when they attack us the next time, they come back stronger because they learn where they fell short from before. Too often, as people of God, we fail to learn from life situations. We fail to learn from the victories that God has given us. We fail to learn from our failures and we fail to learn from our victories. We fail to see that the God of everlasting peace is walking with us. And even if we walk through danger. The God of peace is with us. Like the disciples on the boat, you might be in a storm, but you got to remember who is with you in the storm. You got to remember that God of all creation is with you in the storm. Like the disciples on the boat with Jesus, some of us need to activate our faith and get enough courage and stop being closed mouthed Christians, and when we're in trouble, cry out to God and say, God, I need your help. God, I'm in this thing, and I feel like I'm by myself. God, I need you to wake up and speak peace to my life. Well, God, I'm in this valley, and I need you to show up and to show out because my enemies are on my left and they're on my right. My enemies are attacking me from every way, I, every which way I can see. And God, I need you to come to my aid. Too often we sit back. Too often we take the position of defeat and don't learn from our previous battles. 
the amount the Armenians learned that the God of Israel is a God who is most powerful on the mountain. And if their God is like our God, his power is limited. See, they fell short. See, they underestimated the God of Israel. Know this day, beloved, that your enemies might attack you, but they are underestimating you. Have enough confidence in your God to know that God will not leave you or forsake you, that God will not let you or allow your enemies to lure you into a valley without giving you the provisions you need to be victorious in the battle. There is something significant about this text that we also need to lift up. In this text, we see that both the armies of Israel and the armies of the Armenians had advisors. See, the Armenians had their advisors, and the, uh, the army of God, the people of God, had their advisor. See, 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 the people of God had a prophet, a man of God, who came to the king of Israel Ahab and told Ahab, this is what the Lord says. Because the Armenians think the Lord is a God of the hills and not a God of the valleys, I will deliver this vast army into your hand and you will not know, and they, I'm sorry, and you will know that I am the Lord. See, who are you listening to? Are you listening to the people of God or are you listening to the advisors of this world? Are you listening to the men and the women of God whom God has sent your way to give you a word of encouragement, a word of hope? Or are you listening to the advisors of this world who are speaking doom and gloom and giving logic and reason and trying to explain to you why these things cannot, will not and should not and will not happen? Who are you listening to as people of God? Who are you listening? Who is in your ear? Who are you listening to this day? Whose report will you believe? Whose advice will you trust? Whose word will you carry out? Know this day that if you are walking in a valley that God is walking with you. Know this day that if you are being attacked, that you are being attacked by enemies that have underestimated you and us underestimated the God that you serve. If you are being attacked this day, know that the battle is not yours, but it belongs to God. Because when people attack you, when your enemies attack you, they are not just attacking you, but they are attacking the God whom you serve. And the God whom you serve is all powerful not just in the high moments of life, not just on the mountaintops of life, but your God is powerful even in the valleys of life, even though you are walking through danger. The God of all victory, the God of all life is with you and is preserving you. Even if you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death, beloved, know that you serve a God of resurrection and should you die, God will raise you up. Know this day, beloved, you may be struggling trying to make ends meet you might be going through a valley of poverty and depression but the God whom you serve is rich in houses of land and the joy of the Lord shall be your strength beloved know this day that you might be walking through a valley but you're going to come out because between every valley is a mountain and the God of the mountains is calling you through and out of the valley know this day that you might be walking in that valley but when God comes down and steps down is in that valley with you, that valley becomes holy ground. Know this day that what your enemies try to do to attack you and their plots and their plans to destroy you, when God steps in it, God will turn that thing around and work it out for your good. When people talk about you and wrongly use your name, beloved, know that the God who named you will not allow them to put their mouths on you much longer because God is going to come to your aid. Beloved, know this day that God has got an Aaron walking in a boardroom 
courtroom, that God has got to earn walking in a courtroom, that God has got to earn walking in a bank office on your behalf to fight your battle. Beloved, know this day that your enemies have underestimated you and the God you serve, that your God is not only strong in the mountain, your God is strong in the valleys. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. That's why David said, I shall fear no evil, for my God is with me. My God's rod and his staff, they give me comfort. This day know and be comforted that God is walking with you through the valley. And I got the feeling in my soul that somebody is saying, well, if God is with me, why does it hurt so much? If God is with me, why am I being attacked? God is with you. And because God is with you, the enemy will still attack you. But no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You've got to know and trust and believe in God's word that you might be in a valley, but you will not be defeated. That God will be with you. That God will give you the power. That God will give you what you need in this valley. Your valley were designed by your enemies to defeat you. But God will turn your valley into a place of victory. But you've got to hold on. You've got to trust and believe. You've got to hold on to the promises of God. You've got to hold on to God's promises and watch God work. And don't lose hope in the valley. Beloved, I learned in, in, in elementary school when we would have science classes, we would often study nature. And like many of you, our teachers would take us outside and, and or, or, or bring potted soil into the school building and we would have containers, and, and we, they would give us seeds. And, and we would plant those seeds. And I remember one particular year, one teacher, she was a master gardener, and she was teaching us how to plant seeds. And she said to us, students, you've got to, you've got to put the topsoil down. And many of us were just putting little holes. She said, no, 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 no. Don't, don't just put a hole with your finger. She said, I need you to take your hands and begin to draw out a valley. Draw out a valley and plant your seeds mm, in the valley. Space them apart, yes, but plant your seeds in this valley of soil. And then slowly, gently cover the seeds with soil. That's how it is with hope and God's grace. There are some valley situations God has us in so that the seeds that God has put inside of us can be planted, covered, and grow. But just because God has done a work in you doesn't mean that everybody's happy about it. Just because God has planted something inside of you doesn't mean that everybody is rejoicing over it. Just because God is walking with you doesn't mean that everybody has your back. Beloved, know this day that God has given you hope for tomorrow. And all this stuff, all these things on the news, in our lives, in our cities, in our families, what's going on in this world with COVID, it's a valley. And yes, we are being attacked. But know that the God of all creation and the God who has all power in his hands 
is able to cover you in the valley. It's able to protect you in the valley. It's able to give you life in the midst of death. It's able to bring your promises to fruition and bring your promises and your dreams and your visions to life, even in the valley. Know this day that in the valley you shall have victory. Know this day, yes, you will have to fight. Yes, you will be attacked. Yes, you it will hurt. Yes, it will be hard times. Yes, it, it will be difficult. But you will we have victory in this valley. No more sad songs. Wipe the tears from your eyes because you cannot fight with tear-ridden eyes. No more sad songs. You've got to sing songs of victory during the battle. No more saying, I can't. You've got to say, I can by God's grace. No more saying it's over. It's not over until God says it is over. If God is fighting for you, no, it's not over yet. And though your enemies are attacking you, you have victory in this valley. As you go through the next few days, as you go through this week, tell yourself, tell somebody else, you've got victory in this valley. You've got victory in this valley. Walk through this valley looking and waiting for your victory. Walk through this valley fighting for your victory. Walk through this valley know that knowing that God is with you and you shall have the victory. Know that the victory is yours in this valley. Hold on to your promise. Hold on to your provision because God is going to give you victory in this valley. At the mention of your name, every knee must bow, every tongue confess that you are, you are Lord. At the mention of your name, every knee will bow, every tongue confess that you are, you are Lord. Oh, at the mention of your name, every knee must bow, every tongue confess that you are, you are Lord. Sickness has to bow, and at the mention of your name, every knee must bow, every tongue confess that you are, you are Lord. Jesus, Jesus, you are. Oh, oh, Jesus, you are. At the mention of your name, the scales fall from their eyes. Once blinded eyes will see that you are, you are Lord. Lord. So at the mention of your name, the scales fall from their eyes. Once blinded eyes will see that you are, you are Lord. You are Lord. We would like to thank you for worshiping with us this day at St. Matthew's New Life United Methodist Church here in Baltimore, Maryland. We would like to acknowledge all of our worship leaders and participants and thank them for their time and their service. Now, next week, we hope that you would tune in the same time, 10 a.m., and join us again in our service next week. Now, receive this blessing and benediction. 
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Now may the God of peace go with you, be with you. And as you bring all of your burdens, all of your cares, your joys, your sorrow, your hopes for tomorrow, as you bring all these gifts to God this week, remember that the Lord has promised to always take care of you. And there is no storm, there is no storm on life's ocean that God cannot calm as long as you are anchored in God's heart. Amen. Thank you.